Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the video. Today on Tug's DIY Everything, we're going to be cleaning up this electrical panel. So stick around, join the show, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Alright, let's get after it. Alright, what's going on with this panel is I'm getting ready to start doing the wiring in the basement and start cleaning up the house's wiring. Well, this panel is a total wreck. And you'll see what I'm talking about once I get the lid off of it. And just a disclaimer out there if you don't feel comfortable working with electricity and just don't mess with it call a licensed electrician to do this stuff because electricity can kill you so please call an electrician See the mess inside this panel. Okay. Hi right, guys, I'm back. So what we got going on here, when I do a panel, all this coating, I try to strip it all the way up to the box connector. Like, uh, let me check. I like this one here, this one right here, that is the uh, dryer. That one up here, that goes to the stove, range, whatever. You, but I try to get all this, all this outside jacket stripped off the wire. Get everything pulled, pulled over, tucked down the side, and then over to the uh, bus bar and over to the uh, breaker. Another thing, I think pretty positive. Oh, let's see, I get a flashlight here. I do not see. Yep, there it is. Okay. I was just looking. It's not a solid, not a solid copper, but right there's the ground. Right there. And. That ground comes down to here. And then the this bar is grounded and is bonded to that bar. But I gotta verify that there is a um, ground rod outside. Uh, by code, now, there should be two ground rods. Pretty sure it's the minimum of six feet apart. Continuous ground from one rod to the other and into the first place of disconnect. Which, at my house, this is the first place of disconnect. So, and that should be a solid... That should be a solid copper, not a twisted, not a stranded copper. So, yeah, 
look out for a future video, but I'm going to update this ground. And if, if, if the panel is not grounded and this is, well, if the panel is your first means of disconnect, you can, and your panel is bonded, you can use the ground, you can use these bars as ground and neutrals. But if you're, if you have an outside disconnect and it's grounded, they have to be separated inside. Just to give you a little bit of heads up on that part. But so what we're going to do, now mind you, this is, this is live. So like I said earlier, which I need to take my ring off. Oh, what I said, what I said earlier is do not attempt to do this work yourself. If you are not comfortable working in, this type of environment, uh, call a licensed electrician because that's 120, that's 120. Together they make 240. That can kill you, that can kill you because that goes right out to the transfer, right through the meter, right out up the lines, up the pole, right out to the transformer. So do not attempt this if you do not feel comfortable and you, you do not feel safe doing it. Be very cautious. If so, just if you have an outside disconnect, shut the whole power off. If you have, or you can have the meter pulled. The local electric company pull the meter for you. But just stay clear of this stuff and these two bars that run down the center. And yeah, stay clear of that crap. So. I want to try to do one half at a time. I'm not going to shut the whole house off. Um, I'm going to try to shut one side off at a time and go from there. And I'll probably start with this side. Now this, this outlet here, I just put in recently. It's 12-2 with the ground goes right here to this breaker on the bottom so I'm going to leave that one on because my other camera and my lights are being fed off of that so that one that one's just going to stay there because it's at the bottom of the panel so I'm going to start on this side and then I want to get I'm trying to get rid of these these butt splices right here a butt splice over there there's another one up in there another butt splice in there but we'll see what them what them feed and I'm going to try to get rid of them first off that looks to be 10 gauge and that comes down well, if that's something simple I might just replace that's 20 gauge so if that's something simple, or I might just go, that's an older wire. So I might just put a junction box on the outside of the panel for now to get rid of that mess inside. And I've seen another one right here. Um, same with this one. I think that's 12 gauge. So that's going to a 20 amp circuit. That one I'm going to try to do the same thing with. So, yeah, let's get after it. All right, guys, first thing first. This, this, this right here, this is my generator. I'm going to take it out and pull it completely out because this needs to be moved over here so I can use my uh, interlock. So, first things first. So I take the generator out. Ground. 
go down there. Neutral out of there. Get the pots out of there. Yeah, watch. And be mindful at the end of your wires when they're bare. Not to uh, get all up in that stuff. Let me get my utility knife. This tape right here, very carefully. That's that. Take these seal tight whips. Get that out. Okay. Let's hang this up out of the way. That part. And the last thing we do. Okay, so the generator is getting moved over there. So, what's next on the list? Let's just start right out here in the front. Pull this one out. This is going, I need to get a tablet. Okay. This says washer. So this goes to the washing machine outlet. So we'll, that needs cleaned up. So we'll pull that back. That's what I want to do. This says washer on it. Let's get a piece of tape. Pull right, right up here. Right on the wire. That's the washer. We go ahead and look at. My goal with this is I like to put basement on one side and the rest of the house on the other side. If the wires allow me. Put that down. So the washer, put the flathead. Circuit 32, not labeled. Uh, circuit 32. That runs over. Let's see what that is. Alright, let's go trace this wire down, see what this one does. Alright, circuit 32 is this 14-2. It goes up right through the joist, right over there. It goes that way. So let's go over here on the other side of the basement. This will probably be a long video, guys. I'll break it up in two parts. Okay, so it comes out over here. 
Uh, looks like it's right here. Goes right there, right there, right there. Goes up, it goes up in right there. So up in there is the fridge and there's also another outlet. There's also another outlet on the wall. So I'm going to call that, I'm pretty sure. I'll shut this off and go see if the fridge shuts off. So fifth one from the bottom, right here, this one. So shut that dude off and we're going to see if the fridge is off. That's off. Yep, fridge is off. Okay, that's just the fridge. Yep, okay. That outlet is just feeding the fridge. So let's mark that one. All right guys, so this one feeds the fridge. So let's write on that. Marker right up here. Fridge. We're going to hook that one. So I want to get that one hooked up pretty quickly. Okay, so. It's right here. We'll hook this and break it in off. So here and here. Got this bridge right up there. Alright, let's see. Okay, these two here, this is garage, our air compressor, air, um, that's the air compressor, out of the garage, so I'll leave that one there for now, that's at the bottom, see how I'm working my way up like this, and then then work my way back in one by one. So, so far we got that one. Let's see what we got. What's this one? Okay, what's this right here? It's a 220. That runs. That's a 20 amp. That is a 20 amp double pull on a 12.3. That runs, I'm pretty sure that that runs the Pretty sure that that runs uh, the hot water tank. Runs down through there. Yep, it's going right into the hot water tank. Right here. Bam. It goes right here. Yep, it just dives back. Goes in here. In there. Yep. That's the hot water tank. So we'll pull this one out. And that was this one here. Shut it off. Pull it out. Now we got the truck ground. That back, pull these back. And we'll try to pull that up, up out of that mess. We know that that is 
we'll put on there. Oh. Let's put an H W hot water. All right, guys. Wife's using the oven right now, so and I'm going to try to get this temporary on the uh, on the um, right back. I'm trying to find a cord I can plug this in, and give her a temporary on the fridge. I don't want the fridge off all day. Right back. Alright guys, I got me a temporary cord. We'll hook up to this. I'll put this up here in this. Mind you guys, this is just temporary for a few hours. This is just temporary. Don't tempt this at home. Alright, let's go see if the fridge is on. Yep, fridge is back on. There we go. All right, so let's get back at it. I have this temporary cord tied into that 14 2 just to the fridge, so the fridge is still on. All right, guys, got the fridge back on, so where was we? Uh, wife's using the stove right now, so we're not pulling this one out. So we got the GSTI. And this dude, yeah, it made that way too short. GSCI feeds the deck outlets. So let's pull GSCI. There's two, I can't remember, two, maybe three outlets on the deck. I'm pretty sure uh, that's just what feeds it. And the neutral coming from your outlet. Goes to your uh, GFCI, and then there's a pigtail comes off of G the GFCI goes to your neutral bar. So when you put in a GFCI and arc fault circuit interrupter, your your uh, neutral or common always comes right to your GFCI, which it'll be marked. And then the little white pigtail comes off of the GFCI goes to your neutral bar. So we're gonna hook this. Pull the outlet out to you. This outlet will probably get moved. These wires are so short. You should go out and see, but pull this out. See, there's your hot wire goes on this side, the neutral goes on this side. I always tell because your white wire. Now this is on a GE. GE and there's some Murray's in here. Yeah. Hot goes there, neutral goes there. And five or better, probably tells you right there, but I can Yeah, that's that's probably gonna get moved. That'll probably be the first circuit in this system. Once we get to that point. So that's in there. So let's pull this out of the way. Honestly, hook it. Let's get moved. Let's hook this neutral. Just stick it over here for now. How of the way. Alright. 
Next on the agenda, can I hook that? That's the stone. So let's figure out what this protein does. They have rope, I have something broke on there. Master bath. No one, uh, okay, so it's master bath. Just the bathroom, not the bedroom. So this gets shut off. All right, guys, let's go verify. Let me go get my, uh, I'll shut that off, right? So right here, yep, it's off. It's a 15 amp circuit. And I'll get my tester here. Oh, my tester. I moved my belt. My belt's hanging over here. Full belt hanging right here. Outlet tester. This is from uh, GD, which is Gander. Gander Bender. Look, wife makes biscuits and gravy. So yeah, that that one circuit shut off the whole bathroom. We'll double check these though. Those are dead. Those are dead. Oh, that's dead. She had that on. That's the wall. That's good. That's good. So everything in the bathroom's off. Bedroom's good. That's good. Let's check this outlet behind it. Turn the light on. Check this outlet behind the, right there to see if this one's on that. Okay, and that outlet is on that circuit. So with that outlet, is there an outlet there? So, let's check this outlet. That one's good. There's an outlet right here. Let's we'll turn the lamp on. So, one, two, three. Turn this lamp on. Okay, so this is the kind of stuff I want to fix. There's an outlet there, outlet behind there, and an outlet behind there. They're all coming off to that same circuit for the bathroom. Circuit should be on its own. The bathroom should be on its own. And possibly be 20 amp. Because sometimes these hair dryers and stuff draw a lot of. You get a hair dryer and curling iron and all that other stuff plugged in. Yeah. So. So we got that figured out. We got. That one wire feeds the whole bathroom and three outlets in my bedroom, our bedroom. So we're good there. We'll go ahead and hook that, take it out of there. So we'll switch cameras. Switching cameras, but bear with me. I'm trying to uh, make this experience a little better. We don't know, not just working on a car underneath. The car or on, on top of it, but we got so pull this out. See what they have wrote on here. Let's see what they have wrote on this one. North outlets. Hmm. I wonder if. Let's go check it. It said North Outlets. So let's go see if. Let's go see if the outlets in the kitchen. It said North Outlets.
Is that? Oh, that one's good. That's still on. Okay. So it's just the north. So it's the north outlets. Okay, so there's three outlets in the bedroom. All right, we're good. All right, guys. So it's all the bathroom and three outlets in my bedroom are on that one circuit. And that's what master bath and north outlets. I get my handy dandy handy dandy marking device out here. Uh, north outlets in M D R. There we go. We got that figured out. So the next circuit is a 20 inch single pull. And that goes, that's an old one. So that is an older circuit. See all this, all this short stuff I'm going to move up. So this is an older circuit, so I don't know where this goes. But it is an older, nasty looking circuit and it's stripped right there. Alright. Shut this dude off. Shut that dude off, I'm going to go figure out. Wait a minute. Oh yeah. This is one that's butt spliced. This one right here. Right here. And it goes. I go this in that. Oh, wait a minute. They go straight up. Let's see. I want to straight up. Yeah, that goes straight up into the. Pretty sure. Yeah, in the kitchen. Right back. Test another outlet. Alright. Okay, that. That is that. Is that all? Yeah, because I plugged it on. Oh. Okay, that one's off. Is this one off? That's off. That's off. That's on. So. Which one? Um, so, light above the sink, the outlet coffee pot and that outlet check the bedroom make sure none of this stuff is on there main light is it check this circuit that one's on there that one isn't Okay. So uh be the north northeast corner of the kitchen and the uh, northwest corner of the bedroom. So we got that figured out. It goes, this wire here goes to the outlet in the north corner or northwest corner of the bedroom 
also feeds one two two outlets in the light in the uh, kitchen. We'll mark this somehow. That one there. All right, next on the agenda. Another one that's been. So these three here have been added to. Okay. So now we got to figure out what this one goes to. You see that right there? See how hot that's gotten? That's why you gotta get that crap out of there. Don't use butt spices. That's what wire nuts, wagos, and all the other stuff are made for. Don't use these butt spices on, on this solid wire. Yeah, that's that's gotten hot. Two together. Let's get this one out behind that. So that one I'm gonna tape together. So north west. That's that's marked. Next. It's probably gonna be a two part series. Do this side, then I'm gonna do that side. So we're going to figure out where this one that one goes. Oh not that one. This one goes. This one goes. So, yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know where that one is. Good up, so it's. Guess we go figure out where it goes. Shut that one off. Let's take another walk. All right, so we got pretty much the whole north end of the house figured out. Well, let's go see where this crap goes. The robot just took off. Ah, I just shut the robot. The robot's freaking out. Let's see. Okay, so that means that this outlet is probably dead. Yep. That one's dead. So this one's probably dead. That's dead. So all three of these... There. That's still good. That was dead. Was this on? What? Yeah, it was. Okay, so that outlet's dead. That one ain't. Let's check out the bedroom. I come up here and fix that. Okay. So this whole bedroom is probably on that. Bath. Yep. Bathroom. Water. So. Bedroom one. One, two, all three of them. So that's the this off. Okay. So we have three outlets on that wall, these two outlets, and this whole bedroom. We're gonna check the other bedroom. Light's still on. Check this out, what? Ah, uh, light's still good. Let's check this one. That one's still good. It probably feeds that. That one, I know that one does. So that one's still good. This one dead? I didn't check this one. It's dead now. I don't know where it goes. Okay, so. Three, four, five, six, seven. East. Living room and that feeds the living room and uh, bedroom one. So we got this one figured out. That feeds that feeds the uh, that feeds the uh, yeah. Can't think right now. Living room and bedroom one. 
Look at that. Pulled right out of that butt twice. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't use butt twice. That's a solid wire. Don't do that. Look. Yeah. Pulled right out of there. So that was that was a uh, fire hazard right there. Why could it heat it up? Back upstairs. Get lights around, I can't see. Okay, I found that. What? The under cabinet lights fell off? Yeah. The stove light. Kitchen lights. Microwave. Oh, that ain't good. Uh, that outlet's still on though. Uh, okay, that's not good. So, this feeds the lights in the kitchen, the microwave outlet, which is the outlet I also have my under cabinet lights plugged into. So, that wire, let's see, yep, 12 gauge on a 20 inch circuit. So the problem with that is that wire that feeds that outlet for the microwave is 14 gauge. All the lights I'm pretty sure are 14 gauge. So not today, but I got to I got to switch this over. I got to switch this over to a 15 amp breaker if I have any. Uh, because the microwave is on 14 gauge wire. Yeah, all them circuits up there. That all need to be switched. That lighting circuit, that light, the lights in the kitchen can go by itself. But yeah, that needs to be fixed. Do that later. You go in the attic and figure it out. 
got to be a junction box up there with this old wire in it. 